Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the number of bricks in a wall. So we have here wall on the right side. We can see here there is in a wall, and we want to find out the number of bricks in this wall. So let's consider the height of the wall is let's suppose if I draw the height of the wall. Let's suppose this height is 4 meter and then there is a length of the wall. Let's suppose this length of the wall is 12 meter and also there is the thickness of the wall. You see here the thickness of the wall let's suppose T is equal to 0.2 meter thick. So this are the dimension of our wall and we want to find out that how many bricks are there in this wall. So the formula for finding out the number of bricks in a wall is like the number of bricks if I consider it so number of bricks in a wall is equal to the the volume of wall Dividing by the volume of one brick with motor. It should be kept in mind that it should be with motor. The volume of one brick with motor. I will explain this with an example. So this formula is used to find out the number of bricks in a wall. That volume of wall, you have to find out the volume of this total wall in volume of the one brick that is used in this wall the volume of one brick there are a lot of bricks so if you find out the volume of one brick along with the motor we can find out the total number of bricks used in this wall so now coming to the formula so first we need is the volume of the wall now to find out the volume of the wall the formula is the volume of wall is equal to the length multiply with the height of the wall multiply with the thickness of the wall it's simple formula so we'll put the length of the wall which is 12 meter the height which is 4 meter and thickness which is 0.2 meter so we get the volume of the wall which comes out to be 12 cubic meter so this is the volume of the wall now to find out the second one which is the volume of one brick along with the motor so there are different bricks used we see here there are different bricks so I took here one brick here as an example here that this is one brick and this is the stretcher or we can see the length of the brick this is the header or we call is the the other dimension width of the brick and this is the depth of the a thickness of the brick represented let's suppose by T so these are the dimension of a single brick now the stretcher or the length of the brick is let's suppose 190 millimeter but this dimension changes according to the country for example in India they are 190 mm the stretcher in another country it will be 140 or 150 and uh, it, it depends on the where are you using these bricks so the width of this are the width or the header of the brick is 90 mm here the thickness or depth is also 90 mm of the brick i'm using this according to my country so it depends where are you using these bricks so you will know the dimension of your brick it always changes so i got my length are the stretcher dimension of my brick the width are the header and the depth or thickness of my brick so now along with the motor is each brick here we see here in this diagram in this diagram we see here if i show it with another color so we see here there is a brick and it is being used with the motor along with the in four direction we see here along the length of the brick here along the depth of the brick and here in the another direction which is not visible to us but we will see here that along the width of the brick 
there is some motor placed so on each side of the brick there are motor so here there is motor here is also motor and here we have also motor why you place motor you place the motor to have um, so that we attach the two bricks together so for example the nether brick will come along with this brick here like in this way so we at here also in this side there will be another brick and on this side it will also another brick so this makes the whole wall so we add the we add the motor in the along the brick to attach another brick with itself so now if the dimension of the motor are let's suppose 10 millimeter so this width will comes out to be 100 mm it is 190 mm so if we add the 10 mm motor so it comes out to be 200 mm and similarly if we add the 10 mm motor here to the thickness it becomes also 100 millimeter thick brick so now we have dimension along with the motor so volume of the one brick will come out to be volume of one brick along with the motor come out to be this length multiplied by width multiplied by the depth or thickness of the brick along with the motor so length is 200 mm multiplied width is 100 mm and also thickness is 100 mm so we got here 2,000,000 millimeter cube because these are in the millimeter so this is the in millimeter we got such is the volume of one brick now if we convert this into cubic meter we got here 0 0.002 cubic meter so this is the volume of one brick along with the motor so now we have these values the volume of wall and also volume of the one brick so now if we put into the formula so here so you put it again I put into the formula so number of bricks will be equal to the here the volume of wall which is 12 cubic meter and the volume of one brick which is 0.002 cubic meter so 12 divided by 0 0.002 here we both have in the unit of cubic meter so they will cancel out and we will get the quantity of bricks which is 6000 so number of bricks are here 6000 in this wall with the length of with the height of 4 meter with the length of the wall equal to the 12 meter and with the thickness of the wall 0.2 meter so hope you guys understand how to find out the number of bricks in any wall by using this simple formula hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos Thank you for watching our video.